Meko and Sonoma is here for a while already, so we had some time to check the new features. There are actually over 100 new features in this update. But in this video, I want to show you my 10 favorite. Right after you install it, you are greeted with this moving lock screen, moving screensaver flying through the landscape or through the pictures. And once you log in, it kind of slows down and stops at some point and it will become your new wallpaper. So every time this animation happens, you will have a little bit different wallpaper. Just right click the desktop and open settings for wallpapers. Here you will have a huge library of different landscape areas, so you can choose any from these. Now the wallpaper and screensaver are kind of blend together if you use this toggle. But there are a lot more settings and tips connected to wallpapers. For example how to display the clock on the screensaver. But I will leave that for a separate video. Yes, if you don't want to miss any of these things, make sure to subscribe to One Byte Academy. But this video, I want to keep it simple, so let's move on. I think probably the most useful feature is going to be desktop widgets. But there are more changes to it than the fact that you can move it to the desktop. So again, start by right clicking the desktop and from the list here, you can drag any of these on the desktop, wherever you want. I find it quite distracting. Luckily, there is one cool option to fade these widgets into the background. You will find it right in system settings and the desktop and dock tab and somewhere in the middle is the widget section where you can change it. Another cool thing is that now you can display on your Mac widgets from your phone. So straight away I can see my remaining data. And these widgets are also interactive. So right from here I can complete the items from the reminders and so on. When I'm talking about interactive features, let's open up Spotlight Search. You can do that by clicking the magnifier icon on the top menu bar or by the simple shortcut command spacebar. This feature was always useful for searching things on the Mac, but now you can do more with it. Let me show you a few examples. I can search for a contact and right from here you will get action buttons. So I can directly message the person or call from here. I can also add an event to the calendar if I type it here. Or my favorite, I can get access to some specific switches right from here. For example, turn on do not disturb mode. But if you don't want to be typing anything, you can ask Siri to do it for you. Siri? Turn off do not disturb. Okay, I've turned do not disturb off. Did you notice? I don't need to say, hey Siri. I can do it with one word and you can set it up in system settings. Go to Siri and Spotlight tab and here is the first option to activate Siri with a single word command. Siri? Open Preview app. I thought so. Let me show you my new favorite tool in Preview. It's called Form Filling Toolbar. You will activate it once you click on this button and it will do exactly what it says. It will show you all the fields from the form and you can even do these tick boxes. And in case you need to write something over, you can add your own boxes or you can include signature at the end as well. I will stay on text but jump in notes now. There are two new cool features. First one is that in a notes app, now you have an ability to link from one note to another one. So here I have my working note and I want to link the other one. I can do it with a simple shortcut command K and here search for that note. But well, I can do it even faster than that. Just type the greater symbol twice in the row and it will let you pick a note from this list as well. Sometimes you just have a great idea which you want to put on the paper right away but loading up notes app will take some time. What you can do instead is to move your cursor all the way down to the corner, open up quick note and type it all here. And the new thing is that with one click I can transfer this notes document into pages document and continue on it there. It will transfer the style, everything, even the links. Did you ever wish to open a website, turn it into an app and put it in the doc? Well, I just described a new Safari feature which is called Web Apps. So go to any website, open File menu and here is the command Add to Doc. I can choose the name and icon and now it's right here so I can quit Safari. 
And when I open it again, it will launch this page in this kind of an app view. It will work only for this website, so if I go somewhere else, it will reopen Safari again. One more addition to Safari is called Safari Profiles. It's quite handy, but also quite complicated, so I'll leave it for another video. Let's keep this list really simple. And the next thing I want to do is to move on to photos. There are new capabilities, edit to visual lookup. You know that lookup feature, where with one click you can get information about what is on the picture. You can do that for animals. You can do it also for places. And now you can do it for dishes as well. So click on the food on the picture and it will actually give you recipes. By the way, I made this plate, but let's move on. What is the weather today? Probably the best is to just look out of the window. But there are new features in the weather app, so let's open it up. First is the new wind layer. And I can even zoom in and it goes into pretty fine details. But if you are into astronomy, then here is a new lunar section right for you. You get quite a lot of information from here and you can even find out your current distance to the moon. Very important information. I think we covered a lot in this video. From the desktop to the moon. But there are a lot of new features in macOS Sonoma. Among these few I mentioned in this video. So that's why I'll be making a lot of separate videos for some of them. So if you want to know all of it, make sure to subscribe. And in that case, I will see you in the next video.